I'm nine minutes before I have to get to work, but I just got my song back from my producer and I wanted you guys to hear it, just a snippet because <sighs> this just got me bumping. Just listen to this. It's what resonates with you and I think that was what made me fall in love with music. I saw in the morning, temperatures are warming from all these thoughts in my mind. Uh, listening to it, there's like an internal connection. You know, people go into their way later years where they can't remember the people that are around them, but they'll play a song and it takes them right back and it'll come right back to their memory. I think the coolest part about getting your stems back is being able to, like, listen to everything, like, by itself. And my vocals, I think, like, sound, like, super cool, especially with the reverb. So I think it's a very powerful, and it, it, it's a powerful thing, but it also taps into... Uh, like I think our deepest self, or who we are as a person. And then my favorite part is when I hold this note. Hold on, give me a second. It is something I will always do regardless if I make money with it or not. I just sat rasp. It sounds so good. Oh. And I wrote my first single, uh, Pretty Boys on Wild, in a day. I was trying to break out of my bowl, and it was my first song, and I was like, okay, what do I want? I want to put something that is popular. And then I was listening to Billie Eilish, and I was really inspired by her very friend beat. And I think within like six hours, the lyrics were done, and I had a rough sample of what I wanted the track to sound like. I took it to my producer and I was like, hey, listen, like we've delved in, into this and we've ex extrapolated and try to add some elements of myself into it because the core base of it was Billie Eilish's sample, the beat, um, and everything else, the guitar and stuff was, you know, what we came up and put together. Listen, I'm on a mission, need a prescription of some body contact. Eyes two in the morning, temperatures are warm and from all There are songs like Falling For You, my second what was it second song I, I released third song and uh you know that took me about like a couple months i'm down to get down and figure you out invest time let it go i think music and inspiration comes and goes and that was kind of my learning lesson with falling for you is you know sitting down and and tapping into the idea and when you lose it not getting frustrated and not uh, quitting on it but just giving it time and pause and so you can you know get back into that creative space and tap back into that energy and then finish and complete it and i think that has been like my recent journey is looking at all of the music that i have and really going back to it and trying to get back in the same mental space 160 i haven't talked to you to different point of i went to a couple bars over the past couple of weeks, I've been trying to work on music. So I've been pulling up all of my old writings and just sitting there at the bar with my headphones in, listening to the samples, you know, okay, like I could work on this. And, you know, I finished it. I finished like two or three songs in the past couple of weeks. You know, it was a true testament that like, you know, it, it's not a rush, it's not a race. You, you whatever you, whatever you create, there is, shouldn't be like a finite date of when it's done. Right, I would say if you're on a working with a label and you have dead deadlines, sure. Just got my background music for my new song Chevrolet, and it just hit me that I've never sang it. Like, but if you're just trying to be creative, you shouldn't have to put limitations on it. You do what you do. When you have the the ability to just have fun with it, I think a lot of things come more freely uh, than when you kind of constrain yourself and put yourself in the box.